Daily Evening Prayer, Right to. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Dear friends in Christ, here in the presence of Almighty God, let us kneel in silence and with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins so that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and glory and mercy. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name, amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you and forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, our eyes behold the vesper light. We sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. Psalm 44, in the Book of Common Prayer, page 645. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our forefathers have told us the deeds you did in their days, in the days of old. How with your hand you drove the peoples out and planted our forefathers in the land. How you destroyed nations and made your people flourish. For they did not take the land by their sword, nor did their arm win the victory for them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. You are my king and my God. You command victories for Jacob. Through you we pushed back our adversaries. Through your name we trampled on those who rose up against us. For I do not rely on my bow, and my sword does not give me victory. Surely you gave us victory over our adversaries and put those who hate us to shame. Every day we gloried in God, and we will praise your name forever. Nevertheless, you have rejected and humbled us, and do not go, go forth with our armies. You have made us fall back before our adversary, and our enemies have plundered us. You have made us like sheep to be eaten, and have scattered us among the nations. You are selling your people for a trifle and are making no profit on the sale of them. You have made us the scorn of our neighbors, a mockery and derision to those around us. You have made us a byword among the nations, a laughingstock among the peoples. My humiliation is daily before me and shame has covered my face. Because of the taunts of the mockers and blasphemers, because of the enemy and avenger, all this has come upon us, yet we have not forgotten you, nor have we betrayed our covenant. Our heart never turned back, nor did our footsteps stray from your path. Though you thrust us down into a place of misery and covered us over with deep darkness. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to some strange God, will not God find it out? For he knows the secrets of the heart. Indeed, for your sake, we are killed all the day long. 
and we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why are you sleeping? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why have you hidden your face and forgotten, forgotten our affliction and oppression? We sink down into the dust. Our body cleaves to the ground. Rise up and help us and save us for the sake of your steadfast love. A reading from Luke. And he came out and proceeded, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples also followed him. And when he arrived at the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and began to pray, saying, Father, if thou art willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but thine be done. Now an angel from heaven appeared to him, strengthening him, and began in agony. He was praying very fervently, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling down upon the ground. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping in sorrow. And said to them, Why are you sleeping? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. While he was still speaking, behold, a multitude came, and the one called Judas, one of the twelve, was preceding them, and he approached Judas to kiss him. But J Jesus said to him, he approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? And when those who were around him saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And a certain one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus answered and said, Stop, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. And Jesus said to the chief priests and officers of the temple and elders who had come against him, have you come out with swords and clubs as against a robber? While I was with you daily in the temple, you did not lay hands on me, but this hour and the power of darkness are yours. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and it is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, 
thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide, and guide us, us in the, the way, way of, of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving help among all the nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Third Sunday of Advent. Stir up your power, O Lord, and with great might come among us. And because we are sorely hindered by our sins, let your bountiful grace and mercy speedily help and deliver us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. Bless you for your creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your measurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, and for the means of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in the holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout the ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-loved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, o Lord our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Amen.